Hey, hey, welcome to One Word a Day. I'm Sophie, your co-pilot into the universe of Chinese. Or pilot, somebody corrected me. I shouldn't say co-pilot. Anyways, um, we're going to continue to learn a little bit more about the Chinese language through one Chinese expression a day. We talked about that yesterday about you're born this way of what way is like non-controlled behavior and lu meng probably is the worst kind like this person was dull like uh, slower to catch to to read the room basically to read the situation slow like dull right um and meng is at the same time wild is it, it got the muscular power it could be destructive and so you know dull plus wild it's not a good combination. You can foresee the result is not that great. And today we talk about kind of a flip of this concept of if it's you're, you're naturally reckless, um, you could be um, not the the result that you saw depicted in a previous expression. Sheng xing lu meng could be. I mean, that's a negative a descript, a description of a person's traits. Just born this way without control, without um, training, without the discipline. So it's basically not well developed human. I mean, at least temperamentally, right? And xing qing zhong ren is a flip of that concept. It's like xing qing, like you're really following how you feel, uh, follow your heart. And this is xing qing zhong ren probably is the contemporary, uh, contemporary, um, social social uh accept socially accepted or encouraged um traits of people like we it's kind of a in response to the too much culturing too much too much cultivation and the cultivation could be sometimes confining to your natural tendency and so that kind of limit your set boundaries or limit your uh, potentials. So this is kind of just the twist of the previous meaning. If you are xing qing zhong ren, it's, it's, uh, it's encouraged over here. Um, okay, so xing we talked about before is the heart and um, the life form. So when you have a heart, life, it means you live according to your heart. So that's your nature. Qing share the same left heart symbol structure. So it's something um, cognitive or mental or emotional, it depends on how, what's the situation, right? Uh, it's heart-based. And then we have the, the color, qing, which is a sound maker. But um, I like to interpret sometimes, read from the sound of why they, out of all the sound, all the other characters, when we're pairing this meaning of heart, looking for its partner to create a new character to describe the feelings, why we're choosing, choosing in the past, somebody chose this, qing, this, this color of blue and green, kind of like turquoise or aqua color, because qing is regarded as um, color from nature. It could be the sky, the lake, the oceans, or the mountains. So all that kind of a green blue is a spectrum. All of that were captured in the Qing character. And it's kind of natural and balanced. Like it's not jarring um, colors. And it's a bit beautiful. It's a, like, a, it depicts the most beauty uh, colors from nature, right? So when it, this character, Qing, which is a color, harmonic harmonic blue green color with heart symbol then it means emotion it means the whole spectrum of the feelings you have and right now there's no um tonal like positive or negative feelings plug in here it's just feelings um so nature feelings xing qing zhong okay so here this character is very easy to understand. It's just a block, a space, and you cut in the middle. That's what we mean, zhong, the middle. And when we say China, zhong guo is the middle. Guo is a country or nation or kingdom, however we want to interpret it. 
So Zhong Guo means, well, of course, from that from people living in China or ruling in China. As perspective, they were the center of the world. And that's like before the globalization, um, like when people take boats out far and have the whole sense of the globe, like a global village kind of sense, um, they would feel they, they are the center of the world. And that's only natural, right? Like when we're a kid, we thought we're the center of attention, we're the center of uh, the whole universe. Um, and so that's how the country feels. Zhongguo is the, that middle. They are the center, the middle. Um, Ren, so, okay, stick figure, that's easy. So Xing Qing Zhong Ren means somebody who is following their nature and really um, connects to their feelings. I mean, isn't that some concept that we're really encouraging right now? Uh, especially during COVID time when people feel so stressed and this is a type of self-care message, perfect for people, right? You, you kind of adapt, um, what's the word? <laughs> like you, you kind of connect to yourself in a deeper way to read what you need, what can make you happy and kind of recenter your universe actually put emphasis on you, self-care. Okay, put yourself first, that, that's the sense. And I translate that xing qing zhong ren as naturally being, like you exist, you live, your sense of um, yourself, you're very much in harmony of your naturally programmed way um, and just enjoy life as is, accept yourself fully, and go with the flow. So all that good meaning can be attached to xing qing zhong ren. Uh, I use this cartoon-ish um, representation to show the magic of Chinese. Okay, so you see the top row, 可爱不是长久之计, and then the bottom row, 可爱我是长久之计, only inserted 我, one character to it, but the whole meaning becomes different. So 是长久之计 and 不是长久之计, one is negation, 不是长久之计 means it's not a long-term plan. And 可爱 means being cute, okay? Being cute is not a long-term plan because I mean, like a flower, people's youth are going to disappear eventually, right? People are going to age and you can no longer say, I mean, we say babies are cute, that's like default babies mostly cute but when you're in, in your 80s or even older like probably people won't use cute <laughs> most likely not on you anymore because that's just not how humans develop and so this line acknowledge that I so here becomes this but um the first is cute is one one phrase and becomes the connector word here is, but I will, um, so it's I was cute translator, right? It means lovable, basically. It's love and able here. Ke means able to be loved, so lovable. And I so when you add wo behind I, so that made I becomes a verb, and wo is me, so love me. So here, the I split into two. Um, meaning segments. So ke is but loving me is long term plan. So this is tying perfectly to the self care concept. Um, so don't even try to stay cute throughout your life because it's not going to be at some point there are other qualities attached to you. Cute is not a prominent feature anymore. But 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 um, loving like self love self care that is the long-term plan like that's and also that's like a self-given you you don't need to depend on the world's feedback to you you can give that to yourself um all right <laughs> i feel like life coach now um but that that's the magic of chinese and that's xing qing zhong ren's good illustration all right cash into the current super thinking by one word today with sophie see you another day